So using uh, Universe Sandbox, let's see what happens to the Earth if we put the Earth out at the orbit of Mars. So we're going to pick the Earth up. We're going to move the Earth out beyond the orbit of Mars through the asteroid belt. Through all the asteroids and out to the orbit of Jupiter, which is about here. Okay, let's see what happens. So now um, the time frame is about. It's four days a second, so let's slow that down so we can see a few more effects. So you can already see the Earth is a lot uh, dimmer. It's not as, uh, not as bright. And if we bring up the temperature scale here, you can see that so far things are remaining pretty normal. But if we speed up the time, so we're now at a period of a week, a second. And you can clearly see the Earth's temperature is dropping quite quickly now. Yeah, so the ice sheets are expanding quite significantly there. So we've got ice coming down into China from the Himalayas. We've got Mongolia is almost completely covered in ice. So you can see the Northern Hemisphere for some reason is um, the pressure is uh, getting higher up there. So look, we've got ice as far as Turkey, Greece. Doesn't the sun doesn't even seem to be rising over uh, over northern Europe? So how's the United States doing? So we've got ice forming in the Baja Peninsula, which uh, if you know anything about the Baja Peninsula, it's probably the last place you would expect to find ice. Got ice in the mountains all down central Mexico. Got ice now as far down as the as Central America, uh, such as Panama. Um, no, sorry, this is still Mexico, isn't it? it says Yucatan Peninsula. But yeah, we've we've got uh, significant ice, and again, in the north, it is looking very bleak, as the sun doesn't even seem to be rising very much. We've got ice all the way up. Um, into Colombia, all the way through Ecuador, and heading down all the way, and uh, also Argentina is almost completely covered in ice. Let's have a look how Australia is doing. New Zealand covered in ice. So Tasmania is looking uh, pretty, pretty icy, and we've got ice all the way up the east coast um, of Australia there. Strange sea, or lake is developing there, or does that lake exist? I'm, I'm not sure to be honest. Um, so look at Africa, so South Africa is completely covered in ice. We've got ice up in the mountains of Kenya, I think that is there. We've even got ice um, in Saudi Arabia and also in uh, in the Middle East and into Egypt. The Atlas Mountains in Morocco are now covered in ice as well as southern Spain. Like I say, we can't really even see northern Europe as it is almost completely covered in ice. But we can see from um, this map here that 
the United Kingdom, all of North America, all of uh, Canada. The only part of the United States that is remaining somewhat livable at uh, a blistering seven degrees. That would sort of right. So if white is ten degrees, so the oceans are remaining. Uh, it's a bit confusing this scale. Um, so, so the white hot, that white is the hottest, and then it goes down from there. So, yeah. So if you look at uh, south uh, eastern uh, the United States, that's still kind of warm, uh, along with uh, but the warm that being you know sort of freezing, you know, a very cold day globally. So at the moment, the planet's temperature is decreasing by around um, a degree every um, week or so, which is uh, not good. And we are also sharing this orbit with Jupiter. No, we're not. Oh my God. I've I've done something. We're just heading out of the solar system. Oh dear. So now every continent on Earth is now completely covered in ice as we head out past the orbit of Saturn. And uh, yeah, I've uh, done that a little tiny bit wrong there. Seems to be a little patch of land left over here for some reason where the ice hasn't reached. But see that now we can, as we get drift further and further out, we are literally leaving the solar system. Now we're about to cross the orbit of Uranus, and this uh, is 25 days a second. So we still um, have oceans for now. Let's uh, speed that up. go so there's a huge now global ice sheet forming and I would imagine the atmosphere would also begin to freeze soon and uh, as you can see the earth is now in uh, total darkness Let's see if we can put on some light there we go Slow down time a bit. So we do have these large portions of the world that do seem to be remaining somewhat um, not covered in ice. I'm not sure 100% why that is, but this is the United States here. I think this could just be like residual warm water maybe because it seems to be this it seems to be mirrored so we've got this big patch here in the north atlantic and then if we move around to the pacific we've also got that uh, i think it could be that the i think what could be happening here is as the Oceans freeze. No, well, ice expands, doesn't it? When it's so, I'm gonna say it could, it could be that the water's building up on the land now more. I'm not sure, but these uh, these areas seem to exist around um, around the poles. So, you know, I'm not sure whether the Earth is still spinning at the same rate and causing the oceans to behave differently but yeah it's pretty much armageddon so yeah don't uh, i would advise that we don't fire the earth out of the solar system anytime soon and uh, we should be all right so join us again next time for some random stuff in universe sandbox thank you very much for watching Bye bye